Righto, let's have a look at what's going on here. This is a little orchard. It's been sitting here. And you come in and regenerate it. We'll start at the top. We to dig up some old irrigation lines, find out where they're coming from. So we you know, cut and tee this later on and sort it out properly, but here's where the water flows in. We've just temporarily diverted into here. We've cut it up a swale here, bank that water in. Some beautiful passive water here. Push the exit out through here into a set of terrace ponds. So these ponds are our watering system for these trees, fertility system for these trees as well. So they come in passively and flow through. You can see that swale exiting there. We've cut these basins in around the trees as well, sowed them out with cover crops. Um, so these are going to be the feed source for the tree, produce all that biomass. And we also amended it with the morpheus and the ash in there as well, so giving them a really good kick. Most of these trees have been sitting here for about two years. Um, they're doing a lot of growth, so we're hoping to see them double or triple in size within four months or so. We can see here, we didn't really anticipate this, but we've got a bunch of springs popping out of the soil. We've been hitting that clay layer and popping out most likely. So we've had to bung up this little terrace push the water the other way because that's where it's flowing in from the swale. So it comes through this system, drops out, we've cover cropped everything, every bit of bare, sport, bare soil, so I just thought I'd video this before I um, scatter mulch it up and, and cover up all the soil and deep mulch the trees. Look at these beautiful terrace systems. And so this bund around here actually acts um, as a bit of an energy capture as well, so it pushes all that dew into the centre of the tree here uh, and uh, they're a really good way to actually just beef up so cut all the veg pack them in there and then that acts as a nice feed basin for that tree and then a moisture basin too because you're packing fresh green veg in there so you get rapid growth but I want to see this tree up to about here within four months and these basins here this flood irrigation basin this is the absolute perfect way to feed any tree now this complete system here costs less than it would if we were going to run the ibex containers and run drippers and poly pipe and all that nonsense. Where this system here nourishes the trees to a whole new level. This is ancient water system, flowing water, pushing that deep in, got the deep nourishment happening, got all the interactions. So this is the best way to actually nourish the trees. So it pushes out here, we got this one little diversion pushes into this next diversion or feeder channel and into the lower 